and this one we're going to start on our aiming this is going to probably be the simplest one as all we're doing is lining up sights to the crosshair now i forgot to mention a uh, previous problem i never actually stored the actions or pushed them into the nla editor so now i only have the current active action which is our sprint so one way you can store them is by clicking this little here and doing a fake user or the proper way is to either push them or stash them into the NLA editor with these here. So for now, I'm just going to do fake user and start working on the next for the aiming. So I'm going to click the X, making sure you know, call it uh, what are the other names? Yeah, 1911 ADS title. And because we no longer have the other animations, we need to use our rest pose that we made to kind of reset our hands and everything. So you can do that by just make sure your armature is selected while you're in pose mode. Go to the rest pose, click this little eyeglass, and we're back to normal, except for the uh, constraint. So click on the left hand, run constraint, put the influence back to one. And now we're good to go. Right, so let's go ahead and start moving everything into place. The right hand selected. Let's get it close. And that's honestly really close. Short hit on the X ever so slightly. And I'm going to keyframe it. Right. I think we're good there. I want to move it out. Like so. And I want to bring the elbows up. So that's what our pose will look like. It's going to be a little hard to actually see through the sights, but eventually we'll probably have it where we alter our camera's field of view when we're aiming and just uh, lerp to it so it's smooth. Okay, so let's keyframe. And give it a slight bit of movement. So I'm going to do this very slow, so every 30 frames. I'm trying to do as subtle of a movement as I can. I just realized I'm grabbing the wrong hand. Then I want to copy first frame and put it at, let's do 90. Put it at frame 91. Not bad. I want to move it a little farther right. And down just a hair.
All right, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to actually make this a new pose. So I'm going to select all the bones, click the plus sign for the library, add new, call it ADS. Right, so now whenever we move it, we're back. All right, I'm going to add this as a fake user. And export. So armature selected all. Select our preset we made initially. And call it pistol ADS idle. Very subtle movement. Let's add it to our idle animation. And see if it works. All right. So there's some issues with the blending. So what we'll to actually make a uh, animation to go from kind of this pose and forward. We can use this to actually properly align our um, our weapon on our hands. So I'm going to replace this blend space with our ADS for our idle. So he's always aiming. Then I'm going to open the ADS animation. Skeleton tree. View the socket. I'm going to go hit play and press F11. And we can do our small adjustments. So, I'm going to rotate smidge that way, make it straighter. Then we need to drop the front down a hair, like that, and press save. And I think that's a pretty good pose. So we'll leave it like that. Delete and replug this back in. All right, that looks pretty good. So. I don't know if I want to make a transition animation to make it smoother, but yeah, the next one will probably alter the camera's field of view when we're aiming, just so we have a better picture, so it's not quite as hard to see. So I'll see you in that one.